first, the race to space was just about getting there. Now it's about getting a lot of people or a lot of heavy equipment off our planet at once. At least it is for SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. Starship is supposed to be the largest vehicle ever sent to space. Standing at 120 meters in stainless steel, it's designed to propel 100 people, or more than 100 tons of equipment, to orbit. And Musk is the only space entrepreneur making that bet. He says it could ferry passengers around the world in half an hour. But he says his ultimate vision, to colonize Mars, is built on ideals. Life can't just be about solving problems. They have to be things that inspire you. And going out there and being a multi-planet species and being a space-faring civilization and making science fiction, not fiction forever, I think that's one of those things. Musk has had a tough year. Tesla, his electric car company, is facing competition in a sector it used to dominate. And after paying $44 billion for Twitter in October, he told employees in March the company is now worth half that. But in just a decade, SpaceX has proven that rockets, once thought disposable, can be safely reused. Getting Starship to the launch pad has not been cheap. In 2020 and 21, early versions performed spectacular flips and plunges over the swamps of southern Texas but exploded on landing. The other way of viewing this is that this is just an experiment. Like we're gonna do this and then see if this is a possibility of a market. But if you can treat a $100 million rocket as an experiment, there's a lot of things that you can consider experiments. The bigger question is how or why such a craft would ever be used. We don't have any of the systems in place on how to handle that sort of volume of people, what that social organization would look like, I would say that when it comes to thinking about, uh, you know, Starship and what the future might bring for it, um, just because we can build a rocket doesn't mean that we can build a civilization. Musk, who has celebrated previous failures, said the first test was always a 50-50 bet, a safe prediction. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera.